Noble for Boxing UK here with Spencer Oliver. Spencer, how are you doing today, mate? Rack, I'm good, mate. I'm good. We're on a revolving floor at the top of the BT Tower. It's freaking me out just a little bit. But apart from that, I'm good. Of course, we're Saturday, big heavyweight action. We've got the big boy, Zhang Joyce. Um, what are your thoughts? Because, of course, a fight that neither man needed to take. It's one for the fans. We don't get it too often in boxing. Great fight. Great fight. You've got to respect Joe Joyce, WBO interim champion. Didn't need to take a fight like this. Zili Zhang is a dangerous opponent. Very dangerous opponent, you know. Um, and it's a high risk, low reward fight for Joe Joyce, really, because he's putting his whole position as WBO interim champion and mandatory challenger for that title on the line. So, yeah, respect where respect is due. Love the build up with these two as well. We're going into this one. Do you know what I mean? They both know exactly what they're going into. And it's a, yeah, it's, it's one of those fights you go stylistically, fireworks. Either man could win. They're both heavy handed, they're both big. Great fight. I think either way, at the end of the night, we're going to get a knockout. 100%. I don't think we hear the 12th bell. I'll be amazed if we do. Um, yeah, I think we do get that knockout. And I believe that Joe Joyce is the one that eventually gets that. But like I say, Zhang is a is a, is a tough guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to some other even weights. Anthony Joshua made his big return. Still sort of the O2. Still put the performance, still put the show. Still a crowd kind of pleaser. Say again. Still a crowd pleaser. Still put the yeah, show. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, I'm, I'm an AJ fan. You know that. And like, you know, we, we, we've been friends for a long, long time. So um, I'm always going to back AJ. And I thought that, you know, he got the job done against Franklin, who's a tricky customer. And people, you know, they don't rate him highly enough, Franklin. But he got the job done, but there's still room for improvement. That's why I'm disappointed he's not fighting again this summer. He's now called off until December. Disappoints me a little bit. Lots of rumours circulating about this, you know, tournament that could be going on out there. Heavyweight tournament, tournament with Joshua Wilder, Usyk, Fury, winner, boxes winner and all that. So let's see what happens with all that. But disappointed Joshua ain't boxing before that. I'd like to have seen him out again in the summer because there's still room for improvement. Of course, the fact that Dylan White was proven about for the summer, it looks like it's not going to be happening. December, of course, talks of maybe Fury or Wilder. There's a lot of talking boxing. How likely do you think these things are actually going to happen? Do you know what? I really don't know, man. We know that there's loads of money out in the Middle East. We know that for sure, and we don't know, you know, if it's something that they're planning on doing, bringing big-time heavyweight boxing out there as well. Um, and so it's a possibility. Anything's possible right now, and it's just, um, just a case of waiting and seeing what happens. But... Let's hope we get those fights soon. Um, of course, just going on to a bit more of a downer of boxing. Amir Khan, of course, found that he was positive for a PED test. Of course, that's not going well with the whole kind of situation currently going on. No. Uh, what are just your thoughts on that with boxing currently at this point of time? Well, I was upset about it, if I'm totally honest, mate, because I've just been a total, you know, admirer of Amir Khan's from the Olympics when he boxed in the Olympics many, many years ago. You know, I think he's been a great ambassador for the sport, and to hear that is really, really sad. So I don't know the ins and outs of it all. I know that he's failed a test and it's down to him to prove his innocence and if he doesn't prove his innocence he's going to tarnish his whole career um, which is a shame because like I say I've always been an admirer of him but let's see how all that turns out let's see what happens um, he's still denying that he's you know guilty of anything so let's just see what happens with that and of course as well as your colleague Simon Jordan and Eddie Hearn they did come to face to face at um, Talksport radio station how did you score that one? Yeah, it's a good. It was a good battle. Actually, I'd like to see a rematch. You know, it was. Uh, yeah, it was good. They both had their successes. Um, yeah, it was good, man. It was good. I think that there was a lot of things said on air. There was a lot of things said off air as well, um, which was quite entertaining. But look, they both got their views, and yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was a good little contest. You and Hearn, how good on terms are you and Eddie Hearn right now? Yeah, all right, mate. There's no, I've got no issues with Eddie Hearn. No issues with Eddie Hearn at all. You know, my grievance is not with anyone. My grievance is with people failing drug tests and not proving their innocence, but then blaming everyone else for it. Not, not my fault. I'm just there to talk about the situations. Um, and if I'm wrong in doing that, what am I meant to do? Shut my fucking mouth. It's ridiculous, mate. You know what I mean? It's like ridiculous. Can't keep hearing that you've proved, you know, you can't keep saying, I'll prove my innocence, but we haven't seen it. See it, and then we can stop talking about it. Otherwise, you know, Connor's response is making people talk about it even more. No, no other reason. Do you know what I mean? Because of you know his, you know, just prove your innocence, and then no one's got to talk about it anymore. It's like it's no good being fucking angry with everyone, walking around and growling at everyone. There's no that, what, what's the point in that? Do you know what I mean? That's not getting you anywhere. But apart from making yourself look more guilty, just get on with it, mate, and stop fucking being angry with the rest of the world. But as far as Eddie Young goes. 
me and I've got no issues with Eddie at all. We me and Eddie have always had a great relationship. So yeah, that's, that's where it's at. And just lastly, on to another topic of British boxing, it's been rumoured that Chris Eubank will be going through with the rematch with um, Liam Smith. Yeah. Do you think it's the right thing to do, or do you think if another fight should be the option? Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, the right thing to do. He needs to try and right the wrongs. Um, so he made that right decision, I think, and I think we will get that announcement sometime this week. French on Cruz, Simona Marshall potentially on the undercard. Yeah, it'd be great. I just hope so. You know, I think there's some, there's some big fights to be made. Let's see where that fight is. Will it be a stadium fight? Won't it be a stadium fight? One thing's guaranteed, we'll get, we'll get a big undercard. And um, yeah, I want to see Savannah back in action. So it'd be great. Thank you for the time, Spencer. Cheers, man. Cheers.